Okay, I got you guys on a little double unboxing. I got the Anders Slimline Pro Li and the cordless MVLI. Uh, first, I'll do this one. I actually already have one if you see it's on my station. Uh, I've had it for maybe almost a year and a half and it's starting to kind of wear out, it's starting to kind of not run as good even when I put a new blade on it. So I went and I got another one, which I, I would say these are just one of the best trimmers I've ever used and it's a total yes, yes. So this is what you're going to get here, you're going to get a charger and you're going to get a base. I love having a base because in between cuts, set it back on, it charges, you don't have to plug it in. But also, you could plug it in and use it as a pass-through. And that means if the battery's dead, you can still use it. But I'm going to tell you something, that's a lie. If the battery's dead and you plug it in, this one, when the battery's dead, if you plug it in, it does not work. That's why I'm getting rid of it. So, that's why I got my new one. I really don't care. I mean, I got a whole year and a half out of that thing. And it was a great year and a half, so I mean that's all I was really looking to get. Plus these things come down in price a lot, so you know I think it's still worth it. Uh, you're gonna get this little brush, a little bit of oil, and some guards that you're just gonna throw in the garbage. So that's that. I'm gonna put this on a stand real quick. And I'm gonna put this thing to charge. You're supposed to charge this thing fully before you turn it on in your instructions and that's all you get. So those are garbage too. And uh, that's everything else really. So now I'll do the envy. I do not have a pair of these. This will be my first pair of these. But I've been really curious about how they cut compared to the wall magic clip. This is what I've been using for a while. I think they're pretty good, but I think they lack a little bit of power and they do tend to snag once in a while, which I don't like that. So I was kind of hoping that I would uh, be able to, to cut faster with these without them snagging. So I'm gonna do a couple haircuts today. I will show you them in action. But for now, I'm going to go plug them in. So, I'll tell you what, they feel great in the hand and they're, they're nice to look at. I, I like the feel of them um, a lot. So, also with the Envies, if you can, try to keep this thing because when you put it away, it'll keep it safe. And when you travel with it, this little cap will keep it safe. I'm never able to keep them, but maybe it'll help protect your equipment. One thing I do like about the Andis already is this charger is much smaller than this gigantic one they give you with the wall. I mean, look at the size. This one almost takes up two full plugs. So unless you got a lot of stuff on your station, you know, like everybody's got a lot of stuff on their station, you know, unless you got a lot of room to plug things in, I mean, this really makes things a little bit easier than that large unit. And then of course you get the flipper oil, and you get the guards. Uh, these guards are something everybody complains about, but I don't really think they're that big a deal. And uh, that's about it. I'm gonna put it to work and we'll see how it goes.
Okay guys, just had a real busy Wednesday and I used these for, I, I did uh, 17 cuts with these today and uh, overall I thought they were great, they never pulled. They didn't get the skin line out 100% with the stock blade, but I'm fine with that. I don't really, I don't really care. Uh, I was actually able to get it out with the cleanup crew over here, so uh, I was able to do some some really nice uh, removal of the skin line. However, these blades that come with it, these guards, I didn't even clean them yet, but these guards uh, are going into garbage. I mean, I can't tell you how easy it is for this guard to fall off. Like, I don't know how thin. They could have made the guards, but they really were trying to save some money here on this plastic or something. And I mean, honestly, uh, I'm never going to be using these guards again because I had them fall off uh, a few times. Of course, I was keeping my finger on the bottom because I already knew that they were starting to fall off. But uh, like I said, I mean, Anders, come on, you need to step your game up a little bit with that. Uh, that could cause, you know, somebody to have a really bad haircut or maybe gain someone inside of the head. So, I mean, at least if, you, if you're safe, careful but anyways overall I think that they felt they felt really nice they felt really strong and never lacked for power and uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a review uh, or like a shootout here but just one thing that was kind of annoying these turn on by pulling them down pushing them up these turn on by pushing them up and pulling them down all day long I was kind of back and forth because I'm really used to working with these and here I'm doing this but uh, I got used to it at the end of the day. I know it was opposite from, from what I was thinking. So overall, I'm glad I bought them. I really wish that the guards were a little bit better. I mean, look at the guards for the, the wall. When they snap on, they're not going anywhere. You could do chin-ups from this one. So anyways, I'm going to keep my opinions to myself as far as which one I think is better and which one I think you should have. I mean, for now, uh, I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to go a little bit longer, use these for a few weeks, and I'll let you know what I think, and then I'm going to do a shootout in between these other two. So until then, thanks for watching, stay tuned, a lot of videos to come, and I'll see you in my next video.